Memphis and across the Mid-South. This is News Channel 3 Daybreak. Good morning, everybody. I'm Joe Larkins. And I'm Mary Beth Conley. Welcome back to Monday, everybody. It is back to work. November 14th, right? Just a second. Very good. <laughs> We're Very both good. awake this morning. Let's get some extra coffee in these cups. Hello. And Todd is standing by outside. Hey, Todd, how's it feel out there? Very comfortable this morning, Mary Beth. Joe, it's a delightful start to the day. Temperatures all weekend long have been holding right around the 70 degree mark. So things have been nice. But yes, a cold front is about to move into and maybe through the area over the next 24 to 48 hours. That will bring us a chance of rain and some cooler temperatures. We had like morning, Joey. Hey, good morning, Joe, Mary Beth, and to everyone in TV land. Locally, we're doing just fine. We have no accidents reported in the city or the county. Hey, Joey, in the news this morning. Members of the Church of God in Christ are targeting some tough issues at this year's convocation, including gang violence. There have been several workshops focusing on ways youngsters can avoid the trappings of drugs and crime. That gets away from violence and crime. Joe? It's not just Kojic trying to address the problem of gangs. As Steve Hazlip reports, several agencies are now teaming up with Memphis police to combat gang violence. <laughs> The blue lights are flashing. It's another Memphis crime scene. People always ran around just shooting and stuff. A lot of people get killed. We are in very, very dangerous times. Gang violence is probably best felt right here between these two Whitehaven apartments. Lanita King used to live right there. She was killed earlier this year by a gang member. She used to play with a classmate, Xavier Jeffries. He lives right here. He, too, became an innocent victim of gang violence. I heard I Still ahead, a world-renowned choir brings its song of hope to Memphis. And it wasn't fool's gold the 49ers came up with on the football field. Nita Wiggins will have all the sports for you, so stay with us. The time right now, 7 minutes after 6 o'clock, 60 degrees in Memphis this morning. We'll be back. At 14 minutes after 6 o'clock now, time for our first look at the... Number one and number two stayed the same in this week's AP Top 25 poll, but possible Liberty Bowl school Boston College made a climb. Here's a look at the poll. Nebraska again won, followed by Penn State, Florida, Alabama, and Miami. No Input your comments about our news coverage. Call 1-800-753-WREG and go online only on News Channel 3. From Memphis and across the Mid-South, this is News Channel 3 Daybreak. Good morning again, everybody. I'm Joe Larkin. And I'm Mary Beth Conley, right at 632 on November the 14th. 41 shopping days till Christmas. <laughs> Just yeah. put that in there You're for You're just Joe. doing that because we're not even to Thanksgiving yet. You know how to like that. Trying to drive Joe crazy, which, believe me, is a short trip. Hi, Todd. How are you doing out there this morning? Don't, don't laugh. You're only, you're only encouraging her. Well, Mary Beth, I do have most of the Christmas cards already addressed. We haven't mailed them out. 3D weather. Only News Channel 3 has it. Three minutes in front of 7 o'clock. Let's get a final look at the weather with Todd. Good morning, Joe. Mary Beth, another nice start to the day. Partly cloudy skies, 60 degrees right now in Memphis. Light winds are from the south. During the afternoon, showers and thunder showers will be likely with highs in the low 70s, southerly winds. This is all part of a cold front moving through the area. The cooler temperatures won't arrive until Wednesday. Okay. All right. Thank you, Todd. And that'll do it for us. We thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Joe Larkins. And I'm Mary Beth Conley. Hope you have a good Monday.